Good day guys, my name is Michael, welcome to a YC Exotic special, um, something a little bit different to what you're usually watching. Um, I'm a friend of YT, um, I'm, today I'm going to talk about my bioactive crested gecko setup. Come and have a little look. Um, so I actually purchased a second hand Exoterra 454560 uh, back in June, we're now in November, so that's six months ago. Um, so starting with the uh, the base, what I've done is actually put a clay pebble base uh, for drainage in there. You can pick that up from any pet store. I got mine from Porton Down, Porton Aquatics. Um, I've then put a mesh substrate in there, almost like a... Um, it's a filter, isn't it? Pardon? Like a filter. Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. A membrane, if you like. Um, which I've picked up from my local garden centre. It was a few quid for a, for a metre, square metre. Um, and then I've actually got coconut rusk in here. And then I've actually gone and bought... Uh, sorry, I've actually gone to my local forest and taken some moss, which I've cleaned off uh, quite a bit. And I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys, it's, it's not actually uh, been as successful as I thought. It is starting to... Uh, well, it's starting to die, believe it or not. But I do have what are called springtails in there, which then makes it a bioactive setup. Um, so the springtails are sort of micro uh, insect, if you like, that will eat bacteria. They'll eat the um, the waste produced by the crested gecko itself. Any um, food, any mould, or anything like that, uh, the 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 uh, springtails will eat. So therefore, in effect, it's what we call a bioactive setup. Um, if you look closer. Um, what I've actually done here is I've taken some normal branches off a tree in the, my local forest. I've stripped the bark. I've put them in the oven and cleaned them. Um, and that's killed any germs. And I've placed those in here. And these plants you see here, they're not real plants. They're actually synthetic. Um, and I've also got um, a little feeding tray here. I've put some... I've put some powdered food, there you are. Rapashi's Crested Gecko Diet. <clears throat> yeah, that's actually yeah. what I'm using, Rapashi yeah. Crested Gecko Diet, which you can actually feed the gecko on that alone. You don't have to live feed your um, your Crested Gecko. I don't personally live feed. I have tried. I've put some crickets in there. I've put some mealworms in there, but for some reason my Crested Gecko doesn't seem to want to eat those. Um, I've got what's called a fruit pot. That's banana flavour. That goes in there. I'll actually leave that in there for anywhere for six to eight eight weeks. I did find that after about eight weeks, some mould built built up on there, but my springtails started feeding on that. So it's quite funny how they managed to get up there, isn't it? Yeah, from, yeah, from definitely. From the bark, I'd imagine. Um, obviously, now coming into winter in England, um, I've started spraying less, um, and I've put bought, I've gone and bought a water bowl. Um, which I'm sure the crested gecko absolutely loves because he'll purchase, he'll put himself on here, and he'll stare into the water, almost staring at his own reflection at times. It's quite, it's quite, it's quite unusual. Yeah, and um, you've got the rep sorry, just a button. You've got the reptifogger set up on the side there, haven't you as well? Yeah, yeah, just for the is, summer I, months. Do you know what? I've I've stopped using it where we've come into winter. Um, obviously, the temperatures dropped, but this is a reptifogger. If you want to come around here and have a look, the reptifogger, which I was running on a timer during the summer. Um, and believe it or not, my dad came up with this genius idea. What he's taken is a steamer head, um, and he's put that, he's, he's, mass, he's, he's electrical taped that onto the tubing, um, and you've actually got uh, holes here for the release of the steam. Yeah, the vapour just pours the out, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's brilliant. Maybe I'll show that in another video at some point. Yeah. Maybe even a, a unique video on that, just specifically for How that How to design. get the, that yeah. sort of model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then that will go through there, through the mesh, and that will fill up, obviously, with fog. Um, I do have a thermo hygrometer, if you have a look here, which I've placed in the centre of the vivarium. I will place it on now. There we are. We are on 70% humidity. We're at 65 Fahrenheit. That's in the centre of the um, vivarium, but I do have a wind, uh, like a heat lamp on. So at the top, we're probably talking 70 degrees, and which is ideal. And that's an ultraviolet one, isn't it? It is an ultraviolet one. Very yeah. low on electric. doesn't use a lot of electric. And I don't use that in the summer, if I'm honest with you. I only, I've only just started using that in the last month. What's quite funny is that 
you're looking at it in real life, you can't see it. But obviously, where the camera's recording, if you have a look over here, Michael, yeah, you can see that the uh, that the two bulbs are showing yeah. up. There. Yeah, that is very interesting. So it picks it up. Um, obviously, at night time, you do see it, and he does tend to move up there at night time. Um, I don't think there's anything I haven't mentioned. Um, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find him. I did find I did discover earlier on that he is at the back. Um, let's have a little look. Don't want to hurt him. He knows the score. So he's, about, to... he's about six months old, isn't he? He is, and he's yeah. surprisingly. I thought he'd grow more than he has, but I have read that crested geckos all have their different rates of growth, and some can take up to two years until they get to full, fully grown size. Which Here is about he is, six to eight inches. He's actually what's called a flamed crested gecko. There he is. Um, brilliant little things. Uh, you know the little jump they've got, and they're very docile. He's never ever bitten me or anything like that. You know he's very very docile. Very chilled out, um, and his his eyes are fantastic. Look at those eyes, almost like a little caiman. They yeah. are, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they're interesting. Yeah, um, One of the most interesting looking geckos, I would say. Yeah, I may even get him to do a little jump for you. Do you want to do you want to do you want to see that? Yeah, let's try. They and get actually him to do hop. I, I've seen him hop over a foot. You know, foot. Watch this, guys. He's just warmed up to coming out, but he will jump if I can get him to. If we watch this. Um, still got his tail. Uh, you've got to be careful with um, cresties or crested geckos, if you like. They will lose their tail, and if they do drop their tail, they do. They don't actually grow back. Mm. It's the same with the leopard gecko and most other geckos as well. They will drop their tails. But, That's right. But the um, cresties obviously is prehensile, so you've got to be very. Here we careful. go. He's ready for the jump. He, what he'll do is he'll prop his legs ready. No. He's not playing ball today. He's only just sort of getting used to the environment. I'd imagine he's just woken up. Um, they don't have eyelids, crested geckos, when they're asleep. You can sort of tell they go into a sort of dead stare, but you, their eyes certainly don't shut because they don't have eyelids. Um, here we go. Let's get him jumping. Be a good finale for the video. Here we go. I can see him doing it now. He's springing his legs he's up. He's going to go on your jumper, I would imagine. Do you think? Yeah, maybe. Look so, at that. So you can see his, pre his prehensile tail. Look at the sticky legs. That's what we call arbo from being arboreal. Yeah. Sleep, obviously, tree, a bit of a tree dweller, naturally. He does not want to jump. Let's try and get him to jump. These things are awesome. There we go. He's getting a bit... So just looking at him, I would say he's definitely grown in the last few months. Here we go. Here months. we go. Watch this, guys. No, he's not feeling it. These things do jump, and that's this what is about makes him very time. different to other lizards. It's about the only time I've seen where he hasn't actually jumped when you've got him out. He's just warming. Here you go. No. Come on. I've actually called him Seth. Seth Gecko. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the film From Dust Till Dawn, but George Clooney plays a madman. Well, he plays a sort of uh, the leading role. He's a killer. And his name's Seth Gecko. So I've called him Seth the Gecko. <laughs> Makes me chuckle. It's a good film. Yeah. You should check it out. Here we go. Come on, you little critter. He does require all of his legs to do the jump. No, he's not having it today. I think probably because it's quite cold outside, so the, the weather's affected him a little bit. Quite possibly. I do think <clears> his <throat> metabolism slowed down as yeah. well. I don't know if they ha it has, but yeah. he certainly hasn't been well, eating. Being cold-blooded, it probably does affect him quite a bit. But. Yeah. So we're not going to get a jump today, guys, which is a shame. No. Um, I think that sums it up, really. Yeah, um, I thought, pretty much. You know, I've covered the food, rapashi. Yeah. Um, I've tried live food, you know. I've got to admit, I've had many pets over the years. I've had gerbils, I've had rabbits, I've had cockatiels, I've had budgies, I've got dogs, I've had cats. Um, I've had piranha. Um, mm. I've had cichlids. I've had, you know, tropical fish. And these, I've got to be honest, are the most low maintenance, easiest pets I've ever had. Ever. You know, you could go a week. Once the food's mm. in there, you could go a week without even going anywhere. I agree, time. definitely low maintenance. Don't especially the geckos, tarantulas and all sorts. They are quite low um, maintenance pets. But I do recommend, obviously, I have mentioned earlier on, in the summer, if you can, just get yourself a spray bottle. Um, I use spring water, so I go down to my local shop. I actually use Lidl. Um, spring water, because um, if you use tap water, you do find that it sort of calcifies the um, the the the, um, the glass. Yeah, no, I've had and a I'll, big experience with that. Yeah, yeah definitely. I'll I'd go in, avoid it at all costs. That's it, and I'll spray, spray, spray there, and the gecko will actually lick the condensation. 
Yeah. Um, but always have a water bowl in there. Always have your water bowl and change it. I change mine weekly, if I'm honest with you. Yeah. Some people might change it daily. There's yeah, it depends that. on the heat of the weather, doesn't it? Right. Have you got any plans for getting any other animals in the future? I'm genuinely thinking about buying another gecko. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah. These, these don't need, believe it or not, I know humans like affection and being with other people. Yeah. Believe it or not, uh, lizards are actually very different. They do not mind being in isolation at all. No, they don't, do um, they? If true. anything, some of them don't like... They can be very territorial, so a lot of them won't actually... Um, like company mm. um so i'm thinking about maybe buying one but i don't know yet yeah that's why potentially you can get a, a couple of females in with a male usually yeah. that's what that's what uh, people yeah. that keep them in trios and stuff so yeah. i think that sums it up today yeah um, i can't get a jump out of him i apologize for that um maybe on the next there video he is. Have a, yeah maybe on the next video if i do another one especially if i get another one introduced and i'll do a video on that yeah there you go guys i'm michael it's been yt exotics have a lovely day yeah thanks for doing this video michael don't and, forget uh, to comment like, you guys enjoyed and obviously subscribe See you Thanks in the next very video. Much. See you later on.